Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am happy to say that after a long, long, long wait, Kendra Vidyalaya has, you know, officially announced the admissions dates for the academic year 2024-25. So it was getting delayed, dragging, dragging, and many parents were eagerly asking, like, when is the admissions going to start for class one? So here we have all the answers. So I'll be explaining everything in detail in the video. So I would kindly request you to watch this video without skipping until then and because a lot of information I'm going to share which is going to be very useful for you know if you want to successfully take admissions for your kids in Kendra Vidyalaya that to class one so it's a it's a high high heavy competition so if you want to fight the competition easily and you need to understand the details of admissions okay so for that reason I'm requesting you to just watch the complete video without skipping so that you will be loaded with information and you will be very confident and then you will be you know uh, very lucky to get seat uh, in the Kendra Vidyalaya okay so let's go to the video now okay so so before I jump into all the details first every time I request you to see you know my Kendra Vidyalaya related playlist where I have created different videos on different topics. So let me take you to the, the videos directly. So here I, uh, as you can see there are 17 videos that I have created and this is talking about various topics like all you know like what is your eligibility, what is reservation quota, if I am a private employee, how will I get admissions, okay so you are working in, you are a businessman or a, be it an IT employee or a you know a, a labor class employee or anyway any, anything any kind of private uh, kind of uh, jobs or you know self employment you are eligible and you have certain criteria to be met so for that also I created a video that is they are giving the first priority itself for Kendra Vidyalaya admission uh, beyond central government or state and so uh, the thought of every parents is that Kendra Vidyalaya admissions is only for you know state government or st central government or army person not like that so it's like first it is having a reservation so we are lucky to say that uh, we are uh, we should be lucky enough to note that there is a reservation for RT under RT category so that's I have explained everything in detail so admission priority transfer details admission schedule required documents so a lot of informations are there so you can scroll through all these videos it's a playlist you can select uh, the video which is uh, you know related to your admission queries and then you can you know uh, go through that video it's like most of the videos are like maximum about 20 to 25 minutes where there are there is a need for me to you know explain in detail so that you get a clarity so i don't want to run shots to you know uh, give you small information that is not going to help anyway so this is really the life uh, uh, you know uh, changing uh, things for your kids uh, so it's a dream i know that it's a dream for many parents to get admission in kendra vidyalaya but because of loss of information they are not successfully able to get uh, admission in skevi for my videos if you are continuously watching my videos so you as a parent are getting opportunity to get educated about Kendra Vidyalaya admissions and you know the information and you pass on that information to your friends or family relatives okay so uh, whenever uh, you know so a lot of parents were like very much confused and uh, they were giving lot of dates uh, so this is like uh, the list of videos that I have so different topics okay so you can uh, scroll through even for Balabatika admissions what you need to do age eligibility fee structure single girl child category so if you have a single girl with you then what is the procedure and admissions for class 2 and 10 standard up to 10 standard so all the uh, informations are available in the playlist you can go through that okay Okay, so let's go to the um, you know actual uh, sorry uh, details here so uh, I would request you to you know uh, uh, subscribe to my channel if you are you know willing to know about Kendra Vidyalaya admissions regular updates or other uh, information regard uh, regarding any uh, education like Olympiad exams or Sainik schools or Navy schools a lot of information I am you know creating uh, different videos you can see so please watch without skipping also the ads um, because I am laughing here because ads is going to help me uh, you know generate revenue so if you are uh, you know uh, skipping the ads then it's lost so because I am doing the service I am also expecting the same service support from you as a parent the official announcement link is here so you need not uh, get confused with screenshots or lot of information bombarding around you like whatsapps uh, like telegram chat channels a like lot of uh, youtubes 
and lot of can uh, you know um, online blogs they are putting lot of any dates that comes into their mind and then and then that that circulates and create lot of confusion amongst parents and lot of parents were contacting me and saying that this date this date is already published admission is going to get over i am very afraid please uh, uh, let me know what is the current situation so this is the current situation kendra vidyalaya has officially announced uh, you know uh, uh, admissions uh, information here yeah, let me check that the uh, okay i am in the correct page here so uh, let me go to the admission details so this is the kendra vidyalaya uh, official website which is controlling the kendra vidyalaya schools across india so this is the decision maker in any rules any policies so here uh, if you see the date like uh, 24 25 meaning the announcement has come so i am opening the first uh, information they always put three kind of uh, notices one is the admission schedule one is the admission notice and third one is the uh, admission guidelines so three are the announcement that is coming every year so first let's go to the notice here the notice says that the admission is starting on first uh, april that is uh, april fools day you say at 10 am and it's like closing on 15th um, uh, april 5 pm so and uh, the consideration for your uh, application is going to be the same if you apply on 1st april and if you are applying on 5th of um, sorry 15th of uh, april at even 445 also if you are applying the do, both application is going to be considered as a same time application because they are going to conduct a lucky draw on 19th after collecting every applications it doesn't mean that if you are applying on 1st april you are going to be getting the first seat not like that it's not a race so it's going to be clubbed everything consolidated they do a like a, you say that like do a lucky draw from that they pick up the numbers and then they publish the results okay that is how it's going to be so this is the schedule so exact dates what's going to happen when so schedule for application um, admission so fourth um, week of uh, march is going to be the so that's what uh, we are here here 29th of march today so first april monday 10 pm 10 am sorry 10 am the uh, website for Uh, online admission website will be available and then you can go and log in uh, register and you know complete your application so that's the uh, information that they are going to give me here okay uh, then uh, other information is uh, okay uh, about uh, on uh, the closure date and then uh, provisional list so here is the first list that so the first list is the last list don't go for all the other a lot of other information is there so just let's concentrate it on these dates so the first uh, provisional list uh, that is the uh, you know lucky draw uh, random shuffling and pulling the lucky uh, parents and uh, students list is going to be on 19th by 19th evening or 20th morning you will come to know whether your child is selected or not so the uh, either there's a online uh, 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 a uh, system where they publish the list or you can directly go to the school and there will be a notice board where you can see if your child is selected or not okay then other third uh, thing is uh, if your child is selected school will be giving you a call okay and to uh, they'll ask you to come to the school bringing all the documents make sure sir from uh, after 19 20 21 22 this four five days make sure that whatever number you have registered with K for kendra vidyal admission should be available and someone should be able to answer the call because this is a government institution they will try only once or maximum twice and third time they will not call you and if you if you if you are getting a number from random uh, call from random numbers make sure you call back at least acknowledge that i i am coming else they will give the admission to other candidates okay so make sure whatever the because a lot of employees i see that parents sorry they go for a you know a, a job where they are not allowed to use their mobile they lock the mobile uh, 9 to 5 or 9 to 6 and then this kendra vidyalaya guys will be calling you you missed that call and you missed the admission so that's that has happened so i don't want uh, this to continue that's what i am you know warning you so this is the admission guidelines that is uh, published here so lot of information are there this is 19 page document um, i'm sure uh, it's not uh, if you want you can like uh, download this document and uh, you can go through whenever you have time but i have summarized what is being uh, said here okay so uh, admission schedule so there's a delay uh, i know that's what i said so this is the uh, you know uh, uh, information that i already told you 
just a lucky draw not a race so even if you are play on 15th or first it's going to be same then uh, uh, other information is i am running application filling service here so because i know a lot of information how we need to fill the application what are the information that is going to be you know uh, required in the application to consider your application so everything i'm like very much knowledgeable on that so that's a p because what happens is parents go to, you know uh, go to the internet center and they apply uh, you know uh, by giving wrong information there because they are not uh, having full clarity what needs to be done so that uh, creates uh, you know you know even uh, when you are selected when your uh, child is selected uh, when you take every documents you, uh, you see that your application gets triggered because you made some silly mistake so it's not a private organization again i'm telling it's a government organization they'll not help you in any way to update the application when your admission is considered so before uh, 15th uh, you know april if you are ensuring that all the details are correct then only uh, then uh, you are good to go with the admissions okay if you're making any mistakes after and after 15th you don't have any opportunity to update it so that, that's the reason uh, i am you know uh, helping uh, parents to uh, you know fill i charge a uh, minimal charge so i'll create a detailed video how to approach me okay i'll uh, and what are the details i need from the parents and then when you contact me i'll help you to fill the application so like i am running this service for three years and uh, more than 30, 300 and 300 parents has you know got ad uh, admissions across india because i know uh, how to you know uh, make the increase the opportunity i'm not guaranteeing you the ad admissions but i know how to increase the opportunity for your kids to uh, get admissions okay so uh, this is guidelines so guidelines as i said so uh, main points in the guidelines uh, in the 19 page document is so state government uh, central government uh, army everybody are eligible provided they are transferred at least once in preceding seven years okay so that is the criteria but if the applications if they are getting 100 application where there is no transfer then also you get an opportunity but when the number of transfer increase then you are um, and then if you are having no transfer then your opportunity decreases it's not that you are working in central or army you'll get the admissions not like that but it depends on transfer also number of transfers will be con considered for seven years meaning from 2017 onwards okay from 2017 onwards till april 2024 if you are having one two three or four transfers then you are lucky um, else uh, before that like lot of parents were like last year contact me in that uh, 2005 2004 we have six seven transfers so please include that sir so it, it's online system the moment you enter the date uh, it will say your date is not eligible okay so we cannot help in that so more uh, transfer get priority in it. so if uh, the person uh, is having seven transfers then he'll be by default selected okay and transfer there also say eligibility so a lot of uh, parents get transferred within 20 kilometers or within uh, three months then they are not eligible and that and that is not considered as a transfer even the online system will not accept that transfer so make sure uh, you are whenever you are mentioning your transfer should be beyond 20 kilometers only will be accepted and beyond six months will be accepted okay age criteria as i said it's strictly six years should be completed and uh, in less than one day less than eight years as per nep one april 2020 so as on uh, 1 april 2024 the age should be six years completed even in six, second april or third april it's not going to be considered and this is the date range that i wanted to highlight here okay so if your child is born on second april 2016 or on first april 2018 or in between these two dates only are eligible we, above or below this date is not available uh, not eligible because it's an online system again when you enter the date it will uh, push your application out and saying that you are not eligible then if you have any doubt you can use this age calculator to calculate the age, uh, child's age okay children with special needs okay they are giving if you are um, having any if your child is having any disability then they get two uh, additional years so it should be like 2014 born uh, less than 10 years okay so class strength is ma maximum 40 uh, this includes rt government and transfer government employees and transfers from different kvs okay check this link for you know number of sections per class so if you have so if you want to see that if there is opportunity because if there is only one section 40 seats you don't get much opportunities but if in the case where there are many sections right so go to this um, uh, link here 
okay okay so here you have like uh, you can select which state you are and base uh, in the state i have selected maybe uh, delhi here in the delhi i have selected kb agc at delhi where you have three sections so the total number of seats is 122 okay so based on this you can like uh, check which school you want admission so if you are like in bihar and you want to see some of the school in bihar go do a search and you'll come to know like how many sections how many seats are there okay so that's the link here in RTE is a reservation quota, so first priority go to RTE and then they give admission to other central government, state government employees. So if you are a private employee, you work anywhere, if you are able to produce one of the certificate SC, ST or ED, EWS is a separate certificate which is not, if you are an SC, ST or OBC, you cannot get a EWS certificate. So EWS is purely for open category and if they are uh, having meetings of certain government norms, they get a EWS, everything could be got from VAO local administration okay then child with special needs is three uh, percent and this is how the reservation works so RTE they include uh, EWS BPL even they consider SC ST OBC because 90 percent they don't get the application under EWS BPL they, they get more application on SC ST OBC that's what it's considered here plus again SC ST OBC will be considered in a different uh, in a separate category also so total you see 8 plus 5 is 12 uh, then uh, 14 and uh, then uh, you get uh, uh, 24 seats are there okay so then uh, um, other thing is like uh, the radial distance for RT admissions it's by default it's a law that you should be a neighborhood uh, residence and the radial distance between your home and school should be uh, for a bigger cities it's like highly densely populated like Bangalore, Delhi, uh, Pune, uh, Mumbai or any populated cities okay so they have this uh, you know criteria that you um, uh, need to be within uh, certain kilometer range okay so then for smaller cities if your uh, radial distance the circular distance I, I have created a separate video there for RT admissions you can understand what is the radial distance what is the distance from so suppose your uh, school to Kendri Vidyalaya Google Maps shows uh, 12 kilometers but uh, the radial distance the straight uh, distance point to point is showing 5 kilometers then you can uh, apply for that uh, admission then sequence of selection is like RT lottery from first RT will be considered then the children with special needs and later uh, category 1 category 2 and everything will be considered so this is how application is going to be free of cost no worries so you can directly go and apply so don't worry whether your child is going to get seat or not please give it a try they are getting it's very good not getting you can have a, you know you can take other decisions okay and document required for admission at the time of online ap applications when you are filling this online application uh, using logging into this uh, site okay you need only two documents only after admission is confirmed when you get a call when you are asked to come to the school you can carry all the other documents but other is just information that you are going to fill it up um, but to, to you know complete the application form online you need to upload child's birth certificate and the passport size photo and in some cases a lot of parents are saying that we had different name in the birth certificate and we have changed the name then you can use this name change uh, gazette certificate also okay all the other, other documents should be preferably in child's name in case you are not able to produce during the admissions you can give a declaration that within 10 days i can produce all this document they are giving up to three months time but in, in this stage it's all online you go to the near uh, e seva or e sevas uh, um, online uh, system and fill up the application and then within one or two days you get all those uh, um, documents that you need for the applications okay so this is all uh, about uh, you know Kendra Vidyal admissions and more moreover like lot of people working in this central state government are not you know clear about like lot of parents are uh, you know telling their institution name and telling me let me know sir this is central government or state government so that is uh, that you need to check with your admin department or uh, you know uh, HR department they will help you to understand that so uh, service certificate this is the format they are asking okay even if you have own format from your hr department or your admin department you can produce in case you don't know and your hr department also are not aware what kind of certificate then you can download here click this i'll post this link in in the descriptions affidavit if you are you know getting admission in single girl category 
and transfer certificate also for state government state uh, central government you can download this transfer certificate where uh, you know yeah, it details like from where date uh, from to to distance everything you need to fill it up here okay uh, okay so th as i said this is the uh, playlist we have every uh, uh, you know single details uh, from class 2 to 10 also all the information are there so you can visit this okay so then uh, in case you have any doubt regarding class 1 admissions you can uh, feel free to mention in the comments i'll be happy to help you thank you and see you in a new video bye